I'm with Lori Bostwick from Bostwick Auctions and Gallery out in Cander, New York, and it's auction time. Lori, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Now, this is a different type of auction, obviously. It's a lot of papers, but what do we have here? This is cleaning out attics, um, basically from all the estates that we've had for the last six months. Um, trunks full of old paper goods, um, which we call ephemera, which could be books or magazines or diaries or anything on that line. So, I mean, I'm looking at like great postcards from Binghamton and all the different cities in New York State, different stories mm -hmm. and books about New York. But this is really intriguing. What is this? This is a box of diaries, and they're, they started in 1863, and they went up to about 1901. And the man talks a lot about how he was in a prisoner camp in one of them for a while. Um, he had injured his leg, thought he was going to lose it. Um, they survived. He survived on a piece of bread every other day. Um, that's American just part Civil of it. American Civil War. Correct. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Very, very nice diaries. There's wow. a lot of them there. And so, what else? So, so somebody can come in if they have a particular interest in. I like postcards. We have um, a lot of Tioga and Broome County postcards. Like right here is a postcard album of just Cander, New York, which is oh. our town. And they're all real picture postcards. Oh, wow. And they're um, the community way before there was any color. It was um, old pictures of farms and the old love factory downtown and just a piece of our history from way back. And it's really fascinating. And it's actually a collection of them. So you would sell this whole book. As one unit. Okay. As one. Thank God they didn't throw them away when they cleaned out the attic. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like this was saved. And that's the number one thing people throw in the trash is the comic books and the magazines and the postcards, thinking they're of no value. And we get more money for this than we will a big piece of furniture a lot of times. You know, John, I'd like to point this out. This is a box of travel literature. And this is San Francisco before the great earthquake. Wow. And what's really interesting is a lot of these buildings are no more. And there could truly be some real gems here that are worth money, like a first edition book or... There you is. don't know. Yeah, you don't know. And we only have four days usually to set the sale up because we had a sale last week. So we don't want to oversort it. We want there to be treasures for the buyers. And then the sellers are usually happy, and it's a happy medium. This is our, um, this is one soldier, and we have all of the letters that he wrote back and forth to his wife and some nice love letters. And these are different awards that his grandfather, for, or his father first had, and then he had when he was in the war or in the service. And this is a signed certificate by Harry Truman. Wow. And um, it's, it's quite a nice story. And to, we're going to do it as a group. You know, every time I come in here, I look at all the things that are for sale. And, you know, I know that I want to be at the auction and everything else. But I can't help think about food. <laughs> they have such good food here. So now I know that there's another big event that you have coming up on Thanksgiving, right? We do. We are um, inviting the community to enjoy Thanksgiving Day dinner with us. Um, if you're home alone and you're elderly or if you're just home alone with no family, we invite you to come enjoy Thanksgiving dinner here with us all day. Plenty of room for everyone and a lot of food. And if you're having a little hard time with finances and you don't have enough money to put the meal you'd like on the table, come enjoy dinner with us. Bring and the whole family. Bring everybody. Mom, right. dad, the kids, grandma, <laughs> grandpa, bring everybody. Okay. And uh, so that's going to be on Thanksgiving Day. Correct. And oh. two sit-down times, one at 1 o'clock, one at 3. We're asking that people could call us um, here at the auction gallery at 659-4842 and do a preferred seating time so we know how many to plan on approximately oh, for each that's time. Great. Well, that Thanksgiving dinner is going to be very exciting. And the very next day, you're going to have another auction on Black Friday. We are, as crazy as that sounds. We have a massive truck load, tractor trailer load of Christmas items coming in, all brand new. New stuff. Brand new, and oh. it's um, toys and electronics and um, all kinds of Christmas gifts. It could be socks, whatever you need. That's Christmas So it's a auction. Black Friday auction. At noon. For Christmas toys yeah. and, and yeah. things. And then we'll take your money. Thanksgiving Day, we won't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much for being on the show, and I think it's a wonderful thing that you're doing for Thanksgiving, and it's going to be a lot of fun on Black Friday. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me.